So do you remember guys, when we talk about uh, the, the job itself, we have mentioned that uh, we have here a job repository. So, uh, and we say like a job repository is, um, uh, is a, like um, uh, the place where Spring Batch, in our case, persists the metadata related to our job. So let's go starting here example job execution this is all tables okay that uh, spring uh, batch created for us okay by mentioning here as we we have uh, created here um, we have specified here the schema okay and if you guys remember well where we can find the schema the schema can be find uh, can be can be found here in spring batch core um oh, what is it what is it what is it okay org ss yeah org spring framework batch core yes so schema can be fi found here and it's you if you see like we have a table called like a batch job inst instance job execution so it's everything that we have here okay so we have uh, batch underscore job execution you can uh, move it like uh, uh, but I, I don't i don't how can i say like i don't advise you okay so let's explore here so we have our first uh, job execution executing okay uh, the the start time the creation time the start time the end time as we can see our our uh, job is still running so we don't have the end time so the status is started the exit code is unknown okay because we don't know if it's uh, it's gonna finish with success or uh, a success or not and what we have here we have a job execution context we have uh, a job params Let's see what we have in job params. So in par in job params, we only have uh, maybe uh, the start date or this date. I don't know. And we have the step execution. Okay. So as we can see, we just have one step. This is step ID. It doesn't mean the, the number of step, but we have only one step, which is from file from file into database. Okay. So. Uh, the job execution so you have to explore a little bit more what we can have what we have here in job uh, repository okay which are all these batch underscore okay tables that spring batch created for us for for now we have uh, uh, achieved the the ability to read from a file into database in a very simple manner okay so let's keep running and later in the end we're gonna see the status of our job execution so coming back here we can see that our job already uh has uh, like completed and it took us like uh, six minutes and 41 seconds okay and the status the exit status uh, of our job is completed so we can go to job always you can uh, try to see uh, oh, debug, troubleshooting, something that has happened in your job, the status in your job repository, which is the source of truth. So if we go here, once again, in our job execution, we're going to see like this, the create time, the start time, the end time, and the exit state, also uh, the status and the exit code. So it's, uh, it, it's completed. Okay, everything went fine and uh, maybe we are going to see like okay it took six minutes and 41 seconds uh, to process let's see how many lines okay okay 59,508 okay uh, six minutes uh, I think it's too much okay so in that order we are going to try like example to scale okay our uh, batch processing we are going to now go to our uh, point which is the motivation of this uh, tutorial is the scalability okay the first thing we are going to try to use is multi-thread step okay let's go